The government and the Bank of England are accelerating the introduction of a new central bank digital currency, which all bank customers in the UK will be able to receive in exchange for their existing money, which in many cases is now unobtainable from their bank accounts. The government say that the new digital money will help the economy recover from recession and will be used to bail out public and corporate money currently held in millions of bank accounts by banks that are at the point of collapse. It says cash unobtainable from this account. It's frozen our money. Bleeding hell, John. How much have we got in the house? We've only got £120 and when that's gone, nothing. I don't believe it. The bank's frozen our money. We've got £25,000 in that account and no way of getting it back. Download your central bank CBDC wallet app today and get bonus digital pounds free. If you exchange your existing bank funds into your digital currency wallet now, you will receive free digital pounds for each account you exchange. You can then spend from your digital wallet by using your phone app, exactly like a debit card. Download the free app now from the UK government website or the App Store. John, we need to download the digital wallet thing. See if we can transfer it in. We've got no other option, love. Well, it's transferred and it's given us some bonus money. I can't believe it. How do you know it's worked? It's worked, love. Everyone's using this money now. Right, I'm off down Tesco to try it out. Sorted. Recent figures show that the public's use of cash has halved in the last 12 months. Experts say this is due to the success and sheer convenience of the new CBDC digital money. The government has announced that all cash will be phased out completely over the next three years. I can't remember the last time I used cash. It seems so cumbersome and old-fashioned, fiddling about with coins every time you want to buy something. It's much easier now. Have you seen the remote control, love? <laughs> Look what I found. Remember these? What are you going to do with that? Well, I don't know. Look, why don't we keep it? I'll put it in a picture frame. Recent data from the annual Climate Change Conference has revealed that only a drastic reduction in fossil fuel use will help protect against climate change. The government has announced limits on petrol and diesel use for all individuals in the UK, which will be enforced using smart money. Each wallet will be limited to a purchase of 15 litres per week, after which the wallet will be prevented from making any further purchases in that week. Ah, bollocks! Growing concerns over obesity and bad health will be tackled using the smart money network. The government proposes to limit the total number of sugary foods that each digital wallet can purchase in any given month. What? Experts say that the new pandemic, which is ten times more contagious and deadly than coronavirus, can only be defeated by minimising all human contact and staying home as much as possible. In order to enforce this, all digital wallets will only work within one mile of the address at which they are registered. Shopping times will be staggered so that you can only make purchases for a two-hour period each day. All non-essential item purchases will be rejected. Jesus Christ! The government, in a move to stimulate growth in the economy, is trying to ensure that all benefit money paid out to the public is spent within an appropriate time period. From the 1st of August, all benefit payments including the new social credits, should be spent within two months of receiving them. Benefit money will expire and be of no use if it is not spent within the two-month period. Blimey, they're putting a shelf life on money. Vaccination uptake for the latest pandemic is now at 95%. Anyone who has not been vaccinated will have restrictions placed on their wallets. 
For the 5% unvaccinated, spending will only be allowed at certain times and within one mile of home. Certain goods such as alcohol, travel tickets, and restaurant purchases will not be available for those who have not been vaccinated, and their digital wallets will not work outside of the UK. Wow. Concerns are growing over people who grow and supply their own food outside of government approved companies. The government will be restricting the purchase of all seeds and other farming products for anyone that is not a registered farmer. What are they doing that for? The government is trying to reduce the amount of red meat people eat in their diet for environmental and health reasons. Digital wallets will only be allowed to purchase eight ounces of red meat per week. How much is eight ounces? In order to protect the environment, the government is introducing limitations on the amount each wallet will be able to spend on the following products. Aerosol cans, single-use plastics, coal, meat, chocolate, fish and coffee. What about fags? In a move to encourage good behaviour, the government is awarding digital currency direct to your wallet if you report on anyone breaking lockdown rules or report on individuals expressing extremist views. Anyone deemed to be expressing extremist views may in turn have restrictions placed on their wallets. What's that mean, extremist views? If you give up your cash, you will give up freedom for yourself and you will give up the freedom of generations to come. It's not the convenience of the new money that is important. What is important is the fact that centralised administration of smart money could be used to control every aspect of your life. Say yes to keeping cash and say no to centrally controlled smart money. What they are going to propose is not money, it is a social control system. Please spread this message.